Welcome back everybody to another video tour. Guess where we are? We are in Benidorm. It was quite hard to find a home here because there aren't a lot, especially that are for sale first or second line because we only film beautiful properties and look what we got. Uh, this absolutely beauty at second line. Just a reminder, everything is this home has been built to detail. Look at these pebbles from the beach. We've got this big rock on this side. It's got full art gallery, so much information. So we'll see that later. But let's start at the entrance. So when you come in, there are different ways to come, okay? You would have in the garage, so you would come in the car and you would come in the lift straight away upstairs. But then when your guests come, they would have an access through the exterior. So it's a one-way street where they come and look, they have a, a gate, they walk inside, and then they have this impactful entrance. Come with me, people, and let's go inside. We've got all the plants surrounding us, palm trees, tall palm trees in a property, second line in Benidorm. <laughs> Where do you see that? Got these beautiful stairs that take you all the way up to the top and just look at this front door. Beautiful wooden pivot door with that nice arch. It's modern, but we're keeping that old school style. Come with me. There's one thing that I would like to mention is about the handles. I've got the name, I'm gonna mention it now because there's actually a piece where you'll be able to see this is just I forgot the materials, it's pure, it's not empty inside, and it weighs tons. Bienvenidos to the entrance. Check this beauty out. Look at these LED lights up on the roof. Looks really nice. And I love how the beige looks because it gives this really soft tone. And I love the contrast, how it gives with the natural wood on the, on the doors and on the wardrobes. Over on this side, toilet for your guests when they come, a lift. That would take you up through the four floors of this property and then you come to this beautiful facade. Look at this beauty. On the top, it's made out of pan de oro. I don't know exactly the name in English and it is all completely also handmade. But then coming over here, I would like to speak about, if you could see this Dennis, it is David Marcel, the person who created it. He is quite famous and check this out. Give me one second. The owner kept a piece just to show the people. You wouldn't imagine how much this weighs. This is pure. And it just looks an absolute beauty. And think about that, this railing has been all the way handmade to go up all the way through the top throughout the whole home. Let's go to the other parts of the home. And like I said, the house is full of details. So this is also the same piece as the railing but I want you to check one thing. I've never seen this in a home. So I don't know if you can see that the sizes are different, okay? All of these sizes are different, why? Because they've choose exactly the same measurements as the floor from in the living room. So as you can see, all of the sizes in the living room are different. Well, they got exactly the same patterns as this. So you can imagine this has all been handmade to precision. I said, why do you do this? He said, I don't know, I just wanted to do it. I felt like it. <laughs> Coming through here, nice place to relax. Got gas fire on this side. And then we have this beautiful window. Look at this beauty. The blind is actually metal plates and this goes all the way up. I've actually never seen this in a house that this can go all the way up to the top. Plus it can close and it is pinch black in here. The house is full of spotlights and also it has air conditioning throughout the whole home in every single room. So right now we're in winter and I'm actually quite hot. I would want to take off <laughs> my jacket. On this side, a bit of painting if you want to get inspired, if you want to get a bit creative, because of course we have the beauty of Benidorm. And then coming over to this side, we go straight over to the living room. And it is really important to know that this home is made for comfort. It's made for to be with the family, to be able to have fun, to feel good. So if you look at this sofa, it's not just little typical sofa where you can just sit down and cross your legs. This is a sofa where you can literally sit down, relax. The owner was telling me, put your feet on the table and look at the views and just be able to feel calm. 
there's a lot of expensive sofas out there that are not that comfortable. But this is a place where you could just sit down and take your sister. Looking from here, I can already see these beautiful lights covering on the roof with the spotlights right in front. And then of course, I'll take you to the terrace outside, but it's still inside because it's all covered up. But in the summer, this is comfy because this could be completely opened up and you have that nice fresh air from the Mediterranean Sea. Dining table here on the right side, of course, look into the pool and with that nice sun coming in. Over here, also a nice sofa, looking to this massive TV, of course, so you can just relax and watch some good football. As the owner, I know he likes a lot of football. We're still on the terrace, so this is really comfortable that we can open these windows completely. Most of the times, I have to be honest, this is a little bit a pain. Why is it a pain? Because they get stuck and the mechanism's not that good. But check out this. It opens up straight. Look, it already bends. And it goes straight like a sandwich inside. So there's no worry of it getting stuck. And then we come to the exterior. Full of trees, so we have that 100% privacy also. We've got a nice garden area on this side. Being second line in Benidorm, it is not typical. And then over on this side, we take you to the swimming pool area. Got jacuzzi on this side, it's got heating actually, and this is overflowing into the infinity swimming pool. And of course, it's this beautiful, breathtaking views. We got the nice coast from La Cala, looking out to the sun, we've got the skyscrapers. So like I mentioned in other homes, we've been viewing first line properties, but most of them are looking straight into the sea and at night it's pinch black. It's nice, but I also like the contrast that you look into the skyscrapers when it all lights up at night and you have them beautiful views you're looking at. Of course, we have to look at this great big window where we were speaking about through the inside. These metal plates are the blinds, and normally this is through the inside, the typical blind that you open up and close, but this is on the exterior. This weighs tons, and this goes all the way completely up, down, and also you can turn it to make sure everything is pinch black at night. Nice plants here on this exterior. Important to look at all of the details, this hole, and better put in this big desagüe. I forgot the name, sorry, I'm bilingual and I don't know all the names in the languages. Um, it's where the water goes in and it drains everything from the terrace. They made this nice straight line so you can't even see, and this is where all the water goes into. Look at this swim pool, it is absolutely enormous. I couldn't tell you how many meters this is, I would have to count it, but pfft. insane i think i've never seen such a long pool enormous okay of course it's thinner the pool but it's gigantic and also at the end it also has uh, an engine where you can swim to so you could carry on swimming for kilometers 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 another dining table on this side with a pergola that comes all the way out and then a garden area look at these tropical plants people we've got a palm tree that comes all the way up look how interesting this is They've put here even a support so that the palm tree can grow all the way up to the top. And how cozy is this? A nice garden second line in Benidorm. Por favor, esto es una preciosidad. Just look how many plants. We have palm trees on this side and more over here. I could even, I would put a hammock here. Nice hammock so you can relax. And then I can see already some here, some spotlights that are shining to the palm tree at night. Must look like an absolutely beauty. Coming down to the second floor of the property. There's a staircase that comes down from the garage up to here or from the main floor down. On this side, it takes you to the lift that will take you throughout to all of the floors. Over here, they have a laundry room washing machine, dryer, fridge, this is perfect so the maid, so they can keep all of the house fresh and separated from everything. Coming through here, we go to the first bedroom, natural wooden floor. This we could sort of say is the living room from the apartment. 
On this side, we come into one of the bedrooms. Nice bathroom, the shower inside, implanted wardrobe. And then on this side, a other bedroom with a small toilet. In general, like I say, this is the apartment. This is for your guests when they come around your house because the bedrooms upstairs are absolutely enormous. So this is nice that you get some guests come around and that they have a nice place to be able to relax and be able to feel at home. To the next place, we walk in to the training room. Check this out. We've got some nice machine. Get a sport on this side. The mirror, so you can see your muscles. What is nice about this room, the trainer, actually, the, the owner, actually trains every single day. And he was telling me what he most loves about this is that from this room, you're looking straight out to the skyscrapers of Benidorm and to the beach. How good is that? That you can be training in a house in Benidorm and you're looking straight out to these beautiful views. You don't have that a lot. Now we come to the last bedroom of this floor and you can already see it's a lot wider. We've got also access straight to the terrace fits a nice big double bed in here this i love how what they've done here they've created it blue on this side and separated it and then got the rest of the room here also has its own bathroom but let me show you this cute terrace that it has outside come with me nice place here to relax you have to remember we are in the center of benedom there aren't homes here so to be able to have such a big chalet here second line of the beach is not typical so nice terrace here on the outside with all the plants. Don't know if you can hear the birds and it's nice and cozy. Time to go to the top floor through the staircase that takes you all the way up to the top. With of course, look at this veranda. Walking up marble floor to a wooden natural. But just look at this beauty. We've got nice art over on this side and then a lot of natural light coming in because we have the windows here on the left that are pointing south. Right behind me, I'm gonna take you to one of the bedrooms, okay? So here, they have more of the living room. Here they open up, they have a place to put more clothes. Behind me, there is a bathroom, but I have to say, we're not in a modern white box, let's say. It has style, this house has character. The tiles that they have, they've kept the Mediterranean style and all of the details have been thought of. Coming back outside, there are another two bedrooms on here. It takes you to one of them that are looking straight out to the views of Benidorm. So imagine just waking up in the morning, having the sunlight hitting you and looking straight out to the sea. All of these blinds can be opened up, and closed up also. Um, spotlights on the top with speakers and I'll take you to the next bedroom. This room gives me more of a cozy feeling. It has the windows inclined so you have the light coming in actually from the roof. Double bed on this side. They've used every single square meter here so inside here we've got wardrobe and then over here look how cozy this is. Then it's showed on this inside. We got a cute bathroom with these beautiful tiles and look here. You have a shower and it has these vertical windows that are also looking out to the sea. So it's just nice and cozy and little lights. I'm impressed with the details. Follow me because now I'm going to show you the other side of the house. We carry on straight ahead. We pass the main area where the stairs come up. We come over to this side. We've got the lift over here and then of course we have doors sliding everywhere. Remember, like I said, about the handles before and about the patterns of the doors. Over on this side, now we are in the center of the house. This is where I said, if we look over here, the big glass window right in front, so we can see the living room downstairs at the bottom. And then behind me, it's where you can have your office. Oof. To have this type of house, you need to be working. You don't get this for free. So this is a good place with absolutely insane views to be able to do your work, do everything that you need to do. But let's get back up and show you the beauty of the master bedroom. By the way, this gets all closed off. The details are just incredible. So look at this. So you can open it up to close off the office and it opens up here a bookshelf. 
How cool is that? So, bienvenidos to this absolutely beauty of master bedroom. We got marble around the whole room and look at this perspective. Okay, so I want you to understand a little bit um, the distribution of this because the bed would actually be here because look, you can already see you have the plugs here looking out to the sea. The only thing is, is that he turned it because he wanted to watch TV and also have the gas fireplace here on the bottom. But in general, the main place would be for the bed to be like this and wake up with these breathtaking views. Also got a nice terrace over on this side. The blinds right now can't be opened, um, but we can't go outside right now, but I hope that we can show a shot from the outside. Through the top, it's actually the bathroom, but we're gonna go through this side. We've got a nice Buddha that you can relax, put your incense on and be able to chill. Then over on this side, we've got a bathtub that is full of LED lights to be able to relax in the jacuzzi. And then over here, look at this, it's absolutely insane. Do you know what this is? You would say it's a shower, no? This is not just a shower. This is a Turkish bath. Every single week, the owner actually sits in here and he does like a ceremony to be able to do a nice cleaning and this is something that I would do because health is the most important people. It's not all about earning a lot of money, it's about earning money and about being able to live in healthy. So Turkish bath, he was telling me about all of the benefits it has to detox in the body and cleaning it and how good it is for you. It also has speakers and lights over on this side. We've got these two sinks on here, but look at these details. We're looking over to the views of Benidorm. We can close this a mirror. Show that, Dennis. Oh, it actually has locks, don't worry. Look, he has a lock. Okay. And we've got a nice mirror. Let me close this. And then, of course, we can't miss the walk-in wardrobe. I feel like I'm in, uh, in like a Massimo Dutti shop or something like that to get ready my suit. How comfy is this? I've got nice spotlights, a lot of light, I have to say, by the way, and comfy. It, this house is, it's not just luxury, it's not just Mediterranean, it's comfortable. It's, it's nice to live in, it has everything. So for a day in day uh, lifestyle, I think it's a good choice. Yeah, we go to the dining room, and here you can fit at least eight people on the table with a chandelier coming all the way down from the roof, and then with this glass, windows that slide completely up. We have the pool also in front, looking out to the views of Benidorm. On here, there is a nice cupboard to put some stuff away. And then we go to the kitchen area. Ladies and gents, look at this. Nice big independent kitchen, closed off completely. We've got a great big fridge. I like these. Not little in Spain. It's actually really typical to have a little fridge or the Americans don't really see such wide ones sitting area for two people and then of course we have top-notch appliances the Dietrich so they have a cooker on this side nice little thing to put the rubbish in Let me put that away and they have a lot of little gadgets as you can see but look at the countertop this is all one piece it doesn't split nowhere absolutely beautiful and of course we got wooden cabinets slide in straight away we got oven we got microwave we got to warm up the dishes and then we have another place on this side another dining place with the tv and table so this is actually cozy you come in the morning get your breakfast out put something on the telly and start your day chicos y chicas hemos acabado el video thank you very much for watching we are finished this was a beautiful luxury villa in benedorm Unique location, swimming pool, breathtaking views, enormous house, it's a whole pack. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because we're not gonna stop uploading and we're gonna be traveling more. I think the next home we're gonna go and film is a property in Madrid, a beautiful property worth more than five million euros. And I'm excited to present you the next one, so click on this playlist to not miss not one. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're out. Ciao, ciao.